Hey, it's Rylan James and you're watching The Music Enthusiast. Hi, what's up? I'm Sarah from The Music Enthusiast and today I'm here with Rylan James. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Oh, good. I'm super excited to be talking to you again. The last time we spoke was when you released In Your Head. Mm -hmm. um, it is in my head. So sorry. I knew I got that wrong. <laughs> yeah, all good. Um, so, I mean, how have you been since? Obviously, lots have changed. Oh, my God. Yeah, so much has changed. I mean, that was mid-2019, I think. So it's been almost three years. Um, everything has changed. Uh, my whole life has literally turned on top of its head, you know, personally, um, as an artist, just um, in every single way possible. Uh, I've been on like tour with like Alessia Cara. I went across Canada and the US. Um, I did my own small tour in Canada. I put out an EP. Um, I fell in love for the first time. I came out to the world. I have just like, there's just been so many things that have happened that have led up to this moment. Um, so um, yeah, lots and lots has changed. Look at you thriving. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. What was the first thing you listened to today? Ooh, that I listened to today. I don't, I actually think the first thing I listened to today was, um, there's these like rooms on YouTube that you can go into and they're like cozy rooms. And that's the first thing I listened to. And I had some like calming music and winter snow in the background. I've been really into like instrumental, just like meditative kind of music lately. It's just like, that's kind of the, the vibe I've been in. So that's what I listened to today. I usually listen to those when I'm like studying or doing homework, like those like meditation frequencies that helps mm -hmm. study. I find those oh, very so great. <laughs> I love them. So this new single, I Give Everything, again, is such a bop. It's so catchy. Um, it's more like upbeat than what you usually release. So how did the song start out? Did it start out more as a slower ballad or was it always such a bop? Um, thank you. Um, it was definitely just kind of like more in in the the bop up tempo vibe what it began um i wrote it at the end of 2020 so about almost a year and a half ago um and yeah it was just like the production the way that it kind of is was sort of what it was like when we were uh writing it i think it was more just sort of the um the uh, just more of like the skeleton of it but I was working with Mike Wise who's a really great producer here in Toronto um and he he's just fantastic you know when you go in the studio with him he always has you know an idea of a track laid out for you that he thinks would go with your sound and so when I walked in the studio he had that I was like oh this is cool like I don't really have anything in this vein that's out yet and I've been wanting to kind of dive in there and experiment with that so we went in and yeah, the song kind of was was very much the way that you hear it now. That's kind of how it was the day that we wrote it. Like actually all the vocals from that song are from the day that we wrote it. That's all like the the demo technically. Um, so it's, um, yeah, it's always kind of been in that form. That's so cool. And those like ab lips at the beginning are incredible, especially that like sort of like higher pitch, like auto tune one. Was that sort of funny to listen to it like for the first time? <laughs> yes, it always is. I love giving a good little, you know, soulful ad lib to throw in the beginning of an intro. It's always fun. But yeah, no, they're always funny when they get pitched and, you know, um, processed a little bit. But I mean, yeah, it's so cool. And along with a single, you release an amazing music video with such incredible fits and makeup. So what was your favorite look or makeup look? Oh, wow. That's hard. I, I love personally, I remember when I tried on that green suit with like the little um, white uh, shirt and the harness kind of thing. That one I was like, oh, this feels really good. It fits really well. Um, so that one was my favorite. I loved that. And I, I loved um, doing the little pink under eye um, triangle things. I was, I had been inspired by a photo I'd seen and I was like, oh, I want to, I want to do a version of that. So um, yeah, that, that was probably my favorite. I also loved the sheer look. I think it comes in after the bridge of the song where I'm wearing this a really sheer top and like, it's like red kind of like burgundy makeup underneath. It's yeah, that one also was um, a cool fit, yeah. 
I have to say my favorite is like the black tank top with like the green like palm tree look. ah yes yes that one was fun too yeah with like the with the pink and I don't even know what you call that pattern pant but that one was also really fun yeah you came out as, as queer and I'm super super happy for you amazing um so since you came out as queer I feel like you are sort of more authentic with your music you're talking more about your love life uh, your mm-hmm. boyfriends in the music video for three purple hearts so mm-hmm. is it sort of like freeing to release music that's so authentic i mean obviously right a hundred percent it's it's changed like everything about the way that i approach my artistry and, and music and, and being in the public eye in general i think um i have always been somebody who I like make things hard for myself in life, but I'm also, I think that comes from growing up in a place where I wasn't allowed to be myself and where I felt like I had to put on a thousand layers of masks, you know, to, to fit into my environment. And I've always been a very sensitive person. So I feel like it was kind of a coping mechanism. So I've always felt like life has been like, it's just always been very difficult to be myself and to be authentic. And I didn't even think I knew what that meant until recently like really the beginning of this pandemic when I was able to really go within myself and just start picking apart at the pieces and digging and poking you know at at all these different emotions and sort of buried um things I'd, I'd left behind and um I think just opening that up and allowing myself to be vulnerable and allowing myself to you know, lean into the love side of myself and not be not be so hard on myself all the time and allow myself to just be who I am and come to terms with that, regardless of what anybody else thought, um, has just been the most freeing experience. And obviously, yeah, getting into a relationship, falling in love for the first time um, with Ryan has been like, just a, relationships really do change you. Um, and that's been that's been a relationship that has just opened me up even more into being an authentic person who's free to go out into the world and be who I am because I always just have him as like you know a cheerleader at the side who's who's he he's been out for many years you know and and he kind of knows the ropes so I've learned a lot from him um and you know he was such a huge support when I came out and um, I couldn't have done it without him and without the support that I had from my family so it's been um, yeah a great process Um, and then yeah very freeing and being able to talk about that actual relationship in my music I'm able to talk about love firsthand I'm able to talk about these intense emotions and feelings because I've been through them now and you know three purple hearts specifically especially like every single lyric in that song is the exact story that I went through um, you know the summer before last when I met him Um, and I remember just going in the studio and sitting down and just like telling I was just spilling my guts the producer I was I was just telling my story and we were just writing the song together as it was coming out so that's a really cool thing to be able to do now that I wasn't really able to do before that's so cute oh my god um back to the single I mean I give everything is about being afraid to give too much to someone without losing yourself um it is a bop but what was like the first thing that inspired this song was it the feeling or was it like a lyric or something? Yeah, I I feel like with that one. So when I went in, that was, um, I think that was almost a month after. So, so Ryan and I, we had to do long distance because he had to move away, just circumstances due to the pandemic. He had to move to Thunder Bay, you know, thousands of kilometers away from where I live. So, so very long distance. Um, and I'd only, we'd only been able to be together for like two months. And of course, you know, I'm falling in love for the first time. There's all these emotions, all these feelings, um, very, very intense. And I remember when he left, I was just, I was kind of writing a lot of music with different people here in Toronto. And I was writing so many songs, just going through so many emotions, you know, I would, I just so many things were happening um, internally for me. And I, um remember going to write I give everything and the track was you know laid out we just kind of when I write songs I usually just 
I don't, I don't necessarily always go in with an idea of what I'm going to write. Like I don't, I know some artists go in and they're like, oh, I have this song. I have like half a song written, or I have this concept I really want to talk about. And sometimes I'm like that, but for the most part, I like to go in with an open mind and I like to be like, you know what, I'm just going to let whatever feels right come out today. And that's what's going to, the song is going to be about. Um, and so I think we were just kind of experimenting probably with like lyrics and, and melodies and, um, I think, I think that concept kind of came out of, you know, giving your all but not wanting to lose yourself. I think it was kind of like a consensus in the room that we came up with. And I was like, okay, yeah, like that really feels pertinent to what I've been feeling. Um, so I think it, it did. It started, it started, songs are always interesting. It's kind of like making, I don't even know how to describe it, like a a soup or like a, a potion in a way where it's like, you don't know what ingredients going to go in first, but it's like it all comes together in the end to be something special um or it sucks depending on the session you know um but i give everything thankfully it was a good one and um yeah i i think like it was just about that feeling of i'd been i'd been experiencing definitely of like it was when I got into this relationship, it was like everything else in my life just didn't like matter anymore in a strange way. It was like, this is my everything now. Like my all is being given to this person and my whole entire focus, my whole mind is just on this relationship and the feeling and, and what I'm, how I'm growing and changing in this. And it was kind of scary at times because I still had so much going on, of course, you know, with my career and my family and all these things were happening in my life. But it was like, I almost was like blind to all of it because I was just so focused on this. Yeah. And I was like, oh, like, I don't, I don't want to, I want to give everything to this, but I also don't want to like lose myself in it. It was just kind of that, like that resistance, that boundary, that push pull, um, which I realize now, you know, after you go through it and you look back, it's like you realize, well, there was actually so much growth in throwing myself fully into that and, and changing into the person I am now. And I really had nothing to fear, um, but it was a real fear at the time. And so that's what the song is about. It's like, I want to give you my all, but I don't want to lose myself in this at the same time, um, which I just think is a very natural, you know, human emotion when people go into relationships. And so that's that's kind of the basis of the song. And I feel like not enough people talk about that, how like the beginning of a relationship, you're like, oh my God, I'm so in love. Like, let me give them my everything. But it's like, no, like you're still a person too, right? Exactly. It's it's complicated. Love is complicated. Nobody gets it, you know? <laughs> no one understands it fully. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Um, so Three pur Purple Hearts and I Give Everything, the cover art for them are sort of similar in a way. Could mm -hmm. this be leading up to something? What can you tell us about that? Oh, yeah. So, I mean, yeah, I, I, from, from the last, you know, batch of photos and photo shoots I did, my, my look kind of changed dramatically. I, I grew my hair out, my facial hair out at the time. So, um, yeah, my, my physical look changed a lot. And then the artistic vision, I was like, I want to have more fun with this. I want to have more like, you know, color and, um, you know, just make the, make the font a little, a little artsy. Um, so, yeah, both of both of the cover arts are very similar. It definitely is representative of a new era of artistry, um, and just all of this this stuff that has taken place since you know the the first EP came out. So I can definitely say yes. There's so much more music coming out, and I have so many songs now, and a project is definitely on the way. So yeah, all this is leading up to some very fun stuff this year for sure. Amazing. Um, this is sort of a fun question. If you could describe your music as an animal, which animal would it be and why? Oh, wow. That's a good question. Thank you. I could describe my music as an animal. The thing is like, it's, it's changed so much. I, the first thing that came to my mind with this era is like some form of really like colorful, like bird, like a parrot, like some kind of, you know, like tropical bird. Um, so I would say that for this era, actually, I think just very colorful, very experimental, very, um, you know, just showing off what it's got, you know? Yeah. Or like maybe a peacock too, because they can yes. have feathers. Exactly. Amazing. Um, and last question, who are your favorite artists right now? Oof, I always have to go with the queen herself, Adele. You know, she's, she's so incredible. This new album is everything I wanted and more. Um, I didn't know what to expect with it, but when I heard it for the first time, I was like, okay, okay. Well, like we're going into some new territory, but I, I really enjoy this. And 
to be loved at the end of that album is just like, you know, if you want to hear someone sing, you know, listen to that song because that's just the epitome of like a singer right there is, is that song. And I am obsessed with it. Um, and yeah, really, that's the that's she's the main one that I listen to. I also really love um, St. Vincent as well. Um, she's an incredible, incredible artist. I just kind of discovered in the last couple of years and I'm just obsessed with everything she does. I love her visuals. I love what she talks about. She's not afraid to like go there in her music and talk about, you know, controversial social kind of subject matter. Um, and just, she's so cool. Like just her guitar playing, her looks, everything. It's so, it's so good. So um, those are probably the two main ones I can think of that I'm like major stands of right now. Amazing. Well, thank you so much for chatting with me. I cannot wait for what's to come next from you. Thank you so much for having me. Mm -hmm.